Welcome back to the lecture series in the steam nozzle. This is lecture number 4 in steam nozzle. The topic is metastable or super saturated flow in the steam nozzle. The learning outcome for this lecture at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to explain the metastable flow in steam nozzle. Supersaturated or metastable flow in the steam nozzle is the topic for this lecture. We take the enthalpy entropy diagram for the expansion in the steam nozzle. The inlet pressure is P1 and the steam expands isentropically and there are four pressure lines P1, P2, P3 and P4. So, P2 is passing through the saturation point. So, P2 here number 2 state number 2 is the saturated condition, 3 and 4 they are falling below the saturation line that is wet region. So, P4, P3 are the lower pressure. So, the steam expands from P1 to P4 in the nozzle. So, you look at the expansion line. So, it is isentropy expansion. So, at 1 it is superheated steam. It is expanding. The pressure decreases, quality of the steam decreases temperature is also decreasing. So, temperature decreases, pressure decreases, quality of the steam is decreasing. So, the superheated steam temperatures keep on decreasing at, at this point, it is saturation temperature. So, saturation line, the temperature is saturation temperature. So, the below the saturation line, the steam is expected to become wet steam. So, below the saturation line, the steam is expected to become wet steam. And at this point 3, it is wet steam, 4 is also wet steam. But that is not happening. In a real, uh, real time, in a steam nozzle, when the enthalpy decreases, pressure decreases, there is increase in velocity of the steam. So, the pressure decreases and the velocity is increasing. So, when the steam pressure decreases, the velocities keep on increasing. The ultimate aim of the uh, nozzle is to produce the highest possible velocity. So, here the velocity is high. As the steam further expands, it is expected to become wet steam, but it is being delayed. So, the steam conversion, the vapor conversion into liquid, that is condensation process is delayed. The reason is very high steam velocity. So, the uh, how the condensation taking place? The vapor molecules join together and form a water molecule. So, the because the velocity is very high, the steam is moving with very high speed, the time available for the uh, vapor molecules to join together and become liquid molecule, it is getting delayed and the steam is continue as a dry saturated steam up to the point 3. So, for this particular line up to the point 3, then after 3, it becomes wet steam. Now, for different expansion line, Similar vertical lines you can draw for different expansion. So, through the point 3, we draw a dotted line and this line is Wilson line. So, below the Wilson line, this the steam is wet steam. Between the saturation line and Wilson line, the flow is called as super saturated flow or metastable flow. And in this region, the steam continue as dry saturated steam. And this phenomena is called as supersaturated and metastable flow in the steam nozzle. So, the flow is also called as super cooled flow because between pressure P2 and P3, the temperature of the steam is always lower than the saturation temperature corresponding to that pressure. The temperature decreases, but the process of condensation is delayed. Process of water formation is delayed. The difference between the temperature is called as degree of undercooling. So, this is the, the process you have to explain, the metastable flow or the supersaturated flow you have to explain with the help of a, uh, the enthalpy entropy diagram and uh, you can calculate different parameter related with the supersaturated flow. The first parameter is degree of undercooling. So, degree of undercooling equal to saturation temperature at exit pressure minus temperature at the end of the supersaturated flow. That is the degree of undercooling and degree of supersaturation exit pressure divided by nozzle exit pressure divided by saturation pressure at the exit temperature of the supersaturated flow. This is degree of supersaturation. These two are important parameter in the supersaturated flow. 
and for solving the problem to solve the problem in the super saturated flow the various equations uh, we are not going to derive we just uh, use the equations to calculate the various parameter first the enthalpy drop h1 minus h2 equal to n by n minus 1 p1 into v1 multiplied by 1 minus p2 by p1 to the power n minus 1 by n where n is the polytropic index for the particular stream. Velocity of the stream at the end of the expansion v2 equal to square root of 2 into n by n minus 1 p1 v1 into 1 minus p2 by p1 to the power n minus 1 by n. And the specific volume at the end of the super saturation v2 equal to v1 into p1 by p2 to the power 1 by n. The apparent temperature the temperature at the end of the super saturation p2 equal to t1 into p2 by p1 to the power n minus 1 by n and the exit area a2 equal to m into small v to specific column divided by the velocity at the end of the super saturated flow super saturated expansion. So, these are all the equations that you have to remember to solve the problem in the super saturated flow. So, the effect of super saturation. So, there are different uh, effects. The super saturation increases the entropy and specific volume of the steam. So, because the uh, condensation is process delayed, the entropy increases, specific volume of the steam is also increasing. The super saturation increases the dryness fraction of the steam. The super saturation reduces the heat drop below that of the thermal equilibrium, which causes the decrease in exit velocity. So, the second the, since the condensation does not occur during the super saturated expansion, the temperature at which the super saturation occurs will be less than the saturation temperature corresponding to that pressure. So, if you look at the four point, if you look at here entropy specific volume increases, dryness fraction increases, but the enthalpy decreases, velocity is also decreases. So, this is the effect of super saturation in the steam nozzle. Now, we have some quiz question to understand the uh, uh, recall the concept the limit of super saturated flow. So, in, we have explained the super saturated flow with the help of a, a enthalpy entropy diagram. So, what is the limit for the super saturated flow? So, there are different uh, options pressure line, saturation line, Wilson line, dry, dryness fraction line. The correct answer is Wilson line. So, Wilson line is the limit for the super saturated flow. So, below the Wilson line, it becomes wet steam between the saturation line and the uh, so, Wilson line the flow continue as dry saturated steam. In the region of super saturated flow, the steam is considered, considered as dry saturated steam, wet steam, superheated steam, super saturated steam. The correct answer is dry saturated steam. So, in the super saturated flow regime, the steam is considered as a dry saturated steam. Super saturation increases enthalpy drop, entropy, exit velocity, and temperature. So, entropy is the correct answer. Among the four options given, entropy is the correct option. And the super saturation decreases specific volume, dryness fraction, exit velocity, specific entropy. And here, exit velocity is the correct option. So, exit velocity is decreasing. And in a steam nozzle with a super saturated flow, the inlet pressure is 30 bar and temperature is 350 degrees Celsius. And the exit pressure is 4 bar. Take N equal to 1.3 for superheated steam. The exit temperature of this steam. So, we have four options. We have to calculate using your equation. So, T2, the exit temperature equal to T1 into P2 by P1 to the power n minus 1 by n. So, substituting 350 plus 273 multiplied by 4 by 30 to the power 1.3 minus 1 divided by 1.3. Calculating it is 391.2 Kelvin or 118.2 degree Celsius. So, the correct answer is 118.2 degree Celsius. So, we stop here. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me uh, through my uh, details, contact details for any clarification on the subject. So, we will meet again with another video lecture in the stream nozzle. Until then, bye.